Hey everybody, welcome to another review. Um, tonight I'm going to test out NetGate Internet Security. I also want to tell you that I got a request to test uh, EAV Antivirus Suite and I installed it and I was going to do a video on it but they wanted uh, me to pay to get the updates so they basically don't give you a trial. Um, you get to play with the software but you don't get any updates so there's no point because there's uh, no advantage to me to test it. So I installed uh, the suite, and um, it's fully updated. I'll show you that right now. There you go. And um, everything's on from the factory. I was kind of looking at some of the options that you have here, just for the hay of it. And I was looking at the engine here. And what's kind of interesting is, um, Enable rootkit detection. That's not detect. That's not ticked from the factory. Uh, but like I said, I don't change any of the settings. Everything's just like it comes. So it's kind of interesting that they don't turn that on. Uh, Anti-spam. Uh, you have malicious settings, database, active shields, and scheduling. Uh, you have a keep list. You have news, um, quarantine scans your status and it also comes with a firewall the interesting thing about the firewall here is uh, it didn't even let its own programs by emergency go out and get updates until it allowed me which was kind of interesting we got some connections rules advanced settings uh, enhancements logging malicious different settings here applications traffic log all that fun stuff but like I said, I'm going to leave everything stuck. So let's get going here and see what kind of damage we can do, right? Wow, okay. Internet Explorer is trying to get out. So I don't, I don't think it has much of a white list. What did I just hit? Oh, that's annoying. I think it was a firewall, but I can't tell. Okay, yeah, it is a firewall. So I'm gonna block that. Because we know that's a bad piece of software. Windows Explorer is trying to communicate with that website. Uh, no. Once again, Windows Explorer. Okay. New program has been registered to PC Startup. No. Process is trying to execute web browser. Allow this action. No. Once again, trying to get out. Task Manager is trying to communicate to. So really using a lot of different processes here to get just trying to get out all the spyware. So far I haven't seen it block anything though. I've been doing all the work uh, answering questions.
me close up Internet Explorer and try to open it up again. Yeah, you can see the system is completely bogged down now. So, it's not doing much of anything. Yeah, here we go. Definitely got junk in here. It's fake antivirus. That was successful. Alright, so I'm going to call this an enough for tonight on this one. So I'm going to start blocking some of these and I'm going to open it up. And uh, I'm going to do a scan here. I'm going to do a full scan. Alright, so I'm going to be back when the full scan is done. So I'll see you then. Alright, so Spy uh, Emergency here finished scanning and it found one thing. It found the link on the desktop. So I'm going to remove that. And that's it. So next I'm going to do a scan. I'm going to run CCleaner and then I'm going to do a scan with Malwarebyte. So I will be right back. Okay, so. Um, Malwarebytes finished scanning and it found 13 things. We have a memory process here. We've got some files that are sitting. Um, rogues, Trojan, all sorts of junk. Hijacked, EXE, just all sorts of in the registry. So we're going to remove all these. And because we have an active memory process, I'm going to restart. And then I shall be back. Okay, so I uh, rebooted and I did a scan with Hitman Pro and I found two more things, two more pieces of malware here. Um, there you go. So that goes to show that uh, NetGate Internet Security is definitely not uh, ready to protect your PC because it uh, failed pretty miserably. It didn't catch anything and it didn't stop anything. So that's it on this review. I'm going to move on. I want to do two more tonight and that's it. I'll talk to everybody later.